The IGP has come out today to congratulate all journalists and media practitioners on the World Press Freedom Day. As the joint security agencies, we are aware of the role journalists play in providing information to society and that press freedom is about the right to receive and impart information. Therefore, acts of interference, obstruction with the coverage of journalistic work, like seizing cameras, damaging cameras, intimidation, and physical attacks must stop. Uh, the good news is that there is a great reduction on the side of the police as far as the use of tear gas is concerned, especially in times of crisis like public demonstrations. There is a very big reduction in physical attacks on journalists and uh, disruption of uh, uh, media workers. And uh, this one I can go on record that the office of the PRO at the headquarter level and at KMP, we have greatly extended protection to journalists. A number of you, of uh, uh, your employers, have always gotten in touch with us and we've always intervened. So we are going to try as much as possible to ensure that uh, the protection of journalists is even extended to other persons who use media as a means of reaching their audiences. Right now we are working with media associations like the Uganda Journalists Association, the Human Rights Network for Journalists. We are working with the Editors Guild. Uh, this was uh, very pronounced during the uh, electoral period and even during the uh, intense COVID-19 uh, enforcement. So this will help us dialogue further and avoid uh, friction or classes or clashes between police uh, and uh, members of the media. So the IGP has come out to reiterate his very strong signal that any attacks on journalists are acceptable and must not go unpunished. And is reminded all commanders to act quickly to protect journalists and in addition initiate prompt, thorough and transparent investigations and ensure that perpetrators are brought to justice. You are all aware that uh, in our police training We've adequately, we've adequately trained police officers at all levels on the function of journalists and also held regular refresher courses on media and policing. That's why there is somewhat very good improvement in uh, that relationship. Therefore, as we celebrate the World Press Freedom Day, the leadership of the Joint Security Agencies reiterates its commitment to strengthen relations with the media and security agencies.